Diana here. You're one of many sources of nail art ideas. I've got four nail looks in this video inspired by Gossip Girl's main characters. Jenny Humphrey, Blair Waldorf, Serena Vanderwoodson, and Vanessa Abrams. So let's get started. Begin by applying a base coat to all of your nails for all four looks. I painted two coats of an off-white color on my pointer, ring, and middle fingernails. Then on the rest of the nails, I painted two coats of a black nail polish. On my ring fingernail, I outlined rose petals using a black striper nail polish and then added black dots to fill in the rest of the space. Jenny's character is from Brooklyn and she starts off really wanting to fit in with the Upper East Siders. In the later seasons, she finally comes into her own style and she has this punk glam thing going on. This is why I chose to mix a pretty design like rose petals and dots with a skull and stud look. So on my pointer fingernail, I drew a skull using black polish and a dotting tool. I kept it to a simple design by just drawing in the eyes, nose, and the teeth. I then blacked out the sides from the tip of the nail to the middle of the nail to create the shape of the skull. On the rest of my nails, I used this nail glue that I got from Sally's Beauty Supply to apply the studs. I like the precision tip kind because it has that pointy tip which makes it a lot easier and less messy to apply the glue onto whatever you're trying to apply it to. On my thumb and pinky nails, I only applied one stud at the base of the nail. On my middle fingernail, I applied a row of studs down the middle of the nail. She is totally rock and roll chic and these nails make me feel like I am too. I completed Jenny Humphrey's nail look by adding a top coat to all of my nails. Jenny tried so hard to fit in with the Upper East Siders and to be the new Queen Bee, but in the end she found out who she really was and was able to stay true to herself. For Blair's look, I added two coats of a dark plum nail polish to all of my nails. On my pointer and ring fingernails, I applied a top coat and used it as an adhesive to apply the studs. I placed a rhinestone near the base of the nail and then followed the half moon shape with fake pearl studs. Blair's style is very sophisticated and yet her character is very manipulative. So I thought this dark plum color and the sophisticated necklace design would really fit her character. I completed Blair's look by adding a top coat to all of my nails. Blair was the queen bee who ruled the school with her evil tricks, but once you got to know her character, you really were able to find out that she is really sweet and really always there for her friends. For Serena's look, I applied a base coat to all of my nails. I then created a V-shape at the base of the nail using two pieces of striping tape. I filled in the bottom of the nail with two coats of a pale yellow nail polish. If you accidentally get any yellow polish in the middle of the V, just use a Q-tip dipped in nail polish remover to clean it up. I then added a second coat of the yellow polish to make it more opaque. Using a top coat as an adhesive, I placed a gold stud at the base of the nail. I completed Serena's look by adding a top coat to all of my nails. Serena Vanderwoodson is the trendsetter on the show with a glam chic style. That's why I went with this simple negative space nail art look with gold studs. For Vanessa's look, I applied two coats of a white nail polish to all of my nails. I let them completely dry before moving on to the next step, but you can add a quick drying top coat to speed up the process. For the dry brush technique, you want to remove as much nail polish from the brush as possible before applying it to the nail. For Vanessa's look, I'm using pink, orange, gold, and blue nail polishes. I didn't make up this technique, but what you do is you apply the polish in different directions onto the nail. I added the gold polish for an unexpected sparkly look to dress it up a bit. To complete Vanessa's design, I added a top coat to all of my nails. Vanessa Abrams is a character who's not afraid to play with colors, and she also grew up in an artsy family. That's why I thought the dry brush technique using all of these bright, fun colors would really suit her. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't watched the show, you can catch it on Netflix. 
You seriously won't be disappointed. It's one of my favorite shows I've ever watched. Serena is my favorite character because I absolutely love her style. So which looks your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. XOXO, Diana.